What's going on guys, John Elder here from Kodabee.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use frames with your menu bars with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at using frames with our menu bars. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodabee.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we created this little menu bar, and it really doesn't do anything. If we click a thing, it says you click the drop-down menu, and it does it for all of these things. If we click exit, it exits. So we're going to build on that, and we're going to start to use frames in order to sort of group together the things from each of those menu items into their own little frame so that when we click on the file new button that frame pops up when we click on some other button that frame pops up so that's what we're going to look at in this video and it's really very very easy so i've created a new file called menu underscore frame and it just has the exact same code from the video we did last time you can check the playlist with a link in the comments below if you didn't see that video so let's just come down here and let's uh create some frames and we looked at frames many, many, many videos ago, and they're actually, you know, pretty easy to use and pretty common to use. So I'm not going to really discuss them in great detail. We're just going to start create, creating them in this video. You should already know how to do it. So let's create a new frame. Let's call it new frame because we're going to click that file. Well, let's call it file underscore new underscore frame because this is the frame that we want to create when we click the file new button in our drop down menu. So the, the very first one is like up here, it says file. Now it says new when we click that. So I name it file new frame, just sort of makes sense to me. Uh, name it anything you want though. So we can call this a frame and we want to put it in root. And now what size do we want this? Let's call it width uh, 400 and height equals 400. And you may not have to designate this, but our app is 400 by 400 so i'm just going to go ahead and say hey make it the size of the app basically all right uh, we may have to tinker with this a little bit to take into effect the menu bar itself but uh we can do that later if we want to okay so now i'm just going to change the color of this let's just call this bg equals red just so that we can see it because most of the times frames are invisible right they don't show up uh, it's the stuff you put in the frames that you want to show up. You don't want the frame itself to show up. The frame is just sort of like a container you use to hold a bunch of things together that you want to group in a certain way. But in this case, we want to actually see it. So I'm just going to call background red just to make it uh, do something. So let's look at our menu here. So here are file and here we have the new button and we're using this R command function, which is just up here that we created earlier. So instead of this, let's call the uh, I don't know, file new command. And so now we have to create that command or that function. So let's come up here and uh, file new function. I don't know, define file new function. We don't need to pass anything. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we want to pack that new frame or grid, whatever you want to use, but I'm just going to pack it on there for now because it's easier just as a, a way of example. So we can call, what do we call this thing? File new frame, I'll just copy this whole thing. And we could paste this in and then dot pack. And just to sort of expand this to the whole size, I'm just gonna type in fill equals both and then expand equals one. And expand is just, we're saying expand, as long as it's above zero, it will expand to fill the whole area and it's stretching it both, which is horizontal and vertical. So this should put it all up on the screen as a big, big red square. So let's go ahead and save this and see if that worked. So we're gonna run menu frame.py. Here is our app. We can click file new and boom, the whole thing turns red and that's very cool. Uh, now if we click this, it seems like nothing has happened. It should be putting that little phrase up on the screen but our frame here is in the way. So we need to sort of find a way to fix that as well. So we'll start to do that in just a second as well. So um, actually let's run this again. What else do we got here? Let's do another one. Let's just do one other one. Let's do the cut one, right? That's interesting, right? So 
let's just do that one real quick. Let's pull up our code and let's come down here. And that was edit cut. So let's call edit underscore cut underscore frame. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing. And it's in root, same thing, only this time let's make this blue. So then let's find our edit cut thing here. So let's see, here's our cut label. So instead let's call edit underscore cut, which is a new function we need to create. So let's come up here and say edit cut. And we want to define edit cut. And the same thing here, we can just copy this whole thing. But instead of file new frame, it's edit cut frame. So let's just copy this. And here we go. So let's save this, come back over here and run this guy again. See if this worked. So it was edit cut and boom, it turns blue. Now if we want to file new, it should turn red, but it's not. What's going on here? Well, the old one is still there, so we need to get rid of that. So let's sort of work on that now. So here, anytime we run one of these functions, we want the old function to sort of disappear, the old frame that was called earlier, if there was one, to disappear. So how can we do that? Well, there's probably a thousand ways to do it, but let's just create a hide all frames function. So let's define it and let's call hide all frames, name it anything you want, but that kind of makes sense to me. And so now we've only got two. So we've got this file new frame. And we've got this edit cut frame. So let's just pop these in here. And now we learned several videos ago that we can hide things by pack forget or grid forget, depending on how we put it on the screen. So let's call pack underscore, oops, underscore forget. And that's a function. And let's call pack underscore forget for this one too. And that should do it, right? So now we want to just call this function anytime we run any of these other functions. So we can do that just by popping that in there. So when we click the new, the file new menu drop down, it will hide all the current frames or hide all the frames that are currently there if there are any, and then pack this new one onto the screen. And it'll do that for this one as well. So, okay, let's run this guy and see if that worked. Pull this over. So, all right, edit cut. We got blue. File new. We got red. Back and forth we go. And that seems to work. Very cool and uh, pretty simple. Now, what if we want stuff inside of these frames, right? So, let's take a look at our code again here. And in the past, we were just running this R command. Remember down here, R command, R command, R command. It's just sort of a generic command, we, a, a generic function that puts this label on the screen like this. So let's add this to our frame. So let's go to our file new one here. I'm just gonna paste this in, but instead of putting it in root, we don't wanna put it in root now. We wanna put it in this frame, this file new frame. So we do that just boom like that. And here we can say you clicked the file new menu, All right? So let's save this and run it. So now file new, you click the file new menu, edit cut, boom, that disappears, come back, file new, it comes right back again. Because remember with pack forget, we're not killing it, we're just forgetting it. So that's cool. We could also come up here and then just copy this same guy to our edit. And instead of putting this in file new frame here, we want to put it in edit cut frame, obviously. And here you clicked the edit dash dash cut menu. So if we save this come back and run this guy again. So edit cut, you click the edit cut menu, file new, you click the file new menu. And that's cool. Now if we click this again, it will put it down here again as pack does as we've seen in the past. And you can tinker around to make that different. But this is not the thing you're going to put in your program. This is just for example purposes, obviously. But I think you can understand now how we can now 
start to position things in our frame that you would, uh, you know, whatever you want on your screen and then just call them by clicking the thing like this and uh, as easy as can be. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out and I really appreciate. And check out codeme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 access all my courses over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 85,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeme.com and we'll see you in the next video.